So Taurus, let's see. We do have High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer Energy, and we do have the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. We want this person to start talking to us. High Priestess in Reverse is breaking the silent treatment. And uh, Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, it's let's talk about commitment. I have something to say. Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Maybe we are uh, going through a disconnection right now, an emotional disconnection. We don't know if this person loves us or not. We are avoiding disasters, tower in reverse. We are tiptoeing around the person. Okay, let's see what this is all about, Taurus. Well, tiptoeing is good. It works a couple of muscles, but mentally I'm not sure this is good. Bottom of the deck, here you are. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe you deal with another um, Earth sign. Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance, maybe it's a Sagittarius actually. Nine of Swords in reverse, three of Cups. Good, three of Wands. So we expect and wait for reconciliation. You might have a family with this person, <coughs> with a Sagittarius. And we want to reconcile ASAP, right? It's like yesterday. Um, I love the temperance in itself. It's, a, it's an energy of healing and compromise. Um, I love the Ten of Pentacles because it means you had something um, solid with this person. Um, and you, I believe your energy right now is one of uh, worrying that maybe, you know, um, that is a third party involved. Three of Wands, Three of Cups. Might be too many people. We worry that we're going to lose the stability, the money that comes with it, that kind of energy. But we'll see. So Taurus, past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energy. I believe stability is a big concern to you right now. We'll see. This is what I'm hearing. And longing for a reconciliation. We want this person back. We wait for them to be done parting, to be done seeing other people and it's like come on can you come home kind of energy this is how it feels you know waiting for them right on the front porch it's like where have you been you know <laughs> kind of energy it's like come on have you seen the time you know <laughs> yeah i know i'm joking a bit but this is how it feels right come on we have kids to feed we have you know we have stuff to do and you're coming home at midnight kind of well, unless they work um, shifts till midnight and, and then the night shift and they come in in the morning at 7 o'clock. So I'm just saying 8 o'clock. So um, Taurus in the past, on your side, we do have the Six of Swords and the world. So probably something happened and then started again. The world is the energy of separation, is the energy of ending a cycle, is the energy of ending a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. But then we, we, we went right back to them. That is the um, Six of Swords in reverse. Um, the energy of we cannot let go of this. The energy of uh, needing peace of mind and yet staying in this situation. Till the universe said, well, it has to, an ending, a happy ending needs um, to happen. Kind of, you know, for your own uh, or for the connection of. Taurus, I believe this person, and that's, that's just crazy, right? You have the world upright, they have the world upright, and that is also justice on their side. So probably this is the person who handed you the divorce papers, the separation papers, asking you to leave. Maybe they, they left one day and they said, you know what, I am going to uh, rent a house right across the street, kind of energy. This is how it feels, you know? I'm going to go and have something else because of the energy of balance and justice right of course it can be papers and courts and decisions and stuff like that but it's the balance right for me to be balanced i'm gonna uh rent another place and i'll stay there or i'll buy another place and i'll stay there so that that there was a need of balance for them there was a need of justice of fairness and and things probably properly or something like that so in the past, the energy between the two of you, we do have the devil in reverse and the tower in reverse. So we went through hell and we came back. That's exactly the combination of cards um, saying it was a road to hell. And um, somehow we found our way back. For some of you, this is the energy of Taurus. I have to do that for my own peace of mind, my own mental health. That's the devil. 
maybe somebody was going through addictions, codependency, uh, the connection became toxic, maybe exchanges of words. And the tower is, you know, before I kill anybody, let me get out of this, you know, kind of, this is how it feels. So it was painful, I know, I know. Um, and uh, interesting, the world uh, twice, of course, probably both of you at some point you realize, you know what, uh, we need to step back a little bit for our own sake, you know, which is good. And it's also about happy endings ha happened at the right time, you know, and it was thank God it happened. That's the energy, how, how it feels the world, right? It's, it's not, um, it's not abrupt. It's a process. It's not like the death, but it is a little bit like the tower, right? The same energy of explosion and it's, but there were red flags and, and probably we are not paying attention to it. And somebody was pushing because of Ten of Pentacles, because there was a family involved, maybe children, stability, that's a Ten of Pentacles. And um, and we, we worried a lot about money, stability, finances, you know, and legacy and children and, um, you know, and we know we stay for the kids. I know that, you know, people people stay in, in a marriage because of this. and. At some point, the universe said mm, 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 that it's better for both of you. Now, that is the energy right now on your side. I don't know. Why do you feel ashamed? What is this? What is this? We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in reverse. Some of you feel ashamed for still having a pentacle for this person after what they've done. Some of you, it's like the way it happened. Um, and again, six of swords, six of wands, right? Both in reverse. Quite interesting. Six is the number of harmony, but that's for numerology we are not doing this here but um, it's just i do love synchronicities and and stuff and that is six is for harmony but it is in reverse so it's like you know when we project a world saying you know my world in my world everything is pink and it's happy and i push away whatever trouble and i make a conscious choice every day to stay in the zone the happy zone um, no matter what. Well, for you, probably you envisioned the world in some way and now it doesn't happen. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of heavy or difficult to say somebody, well, we got a divorce. We almost, you know, uh, it was difficult. Don't want to say we almost killed each other, but you know, it's like, and they, um, I don't know if you feel like that is a failure. That is the strong energy of I'm going to stay in this no matter what, because I, it, this cannot fail. I cannot project and show that I've I've done, you know, this is not good. Now, the person you are dealing with, we do have the Knight of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They still have emotions. This is actually my I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card. But after endings and the judgment and the, um, sorry, the justice, I don't, you know, the energy doesn't feel like it, but probably they are, um, you know, their emotional world is getting fixed, is getting healed. And you show up in reverse here, page of pentacles in reverse, right? So um, maybe right now they are not at a place of um, generosity and kindness and having offers for you. But somebody is getting back on horse emotionally and, um, you know, trying to put themselves together. Um... I believe they've worked on themselves because the justice is the energy of balance is, you know, the energy of the mind of having a plan, um, making decisions, important decisions, maybe final decisions. But, um, you know, if this what brings this emotional balance, well, I feel that this is. And if you are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody is really true to themselves and their feelings, you know. Tell us right now, where are we right now? We are probably a little bit unhappy by what's going on, mutual energies between you and this person. Both of you are unhappy by how the way, uh, how things went, etc, etc. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Maybe you are splitting assets right now. It's somebody is quite keen to have all the money or keep all the money or share only half of the money. Maybe money out of some concern or right in the middle of you too. And we are not happy about it that is something something about shame and something about money and something about unhappy that is going on here um so i'm uh, just saying so i don't know if somebody um you know didn't uh, have a job in this connection or 
doesn't have a job that is well paid and the other one is like ten of pentacles you know kind of abundant and uh, or queen of pentacles for that matter you know financially stable and and i don't know why the shame i'm you know i it, this is how it feels there is something about that there is something about family and shame and money and unhappiness and whatever kind of asking the other person to provide for you or you have to provide for somebody and that is shame in it that kind of energy this is how it feels uh taurus of course right um just reading energies here and how it feels um moving forward we do have the hangman upright and the knight of swords in reverse uh gemini libra or aquarius energy but i feel that the universe is kind of telling you that you need to be patient for a while um we might have to change our perspective on what happened the hangman in reverse maybe walking a mile in their shoes and trying to understand you know where they come from and why they've asked for a break a breakup a separation divorce um, look at them a little bit, you know, how they act, how they behave. And that is something that you need to kind of change your perspective, like I was saying, and expand your mind about. And if your, if your question was, uh, is it going to move, uh, you know, in, in some direction of some sort, we, we do get the Knight of Swords in reverse, no action. Um, and this might be frustrating because also swords in reverse is um, some frustration, some anger because of that inaction. And also because it stretches you in so many ways, you know. So now that we know what is the plan, you know. Uh, and we also have overall energy, the energy of the three of wands waiting. And the temperance is an energy of patience. Um, so again, I, I'm... I believe Taurus that somebody is telling you kind of somebody is the universe asking you you know let's um, let us be patient a bit um, because it takes time and it takes um, again some understanding of some sort and some perspective Taurus the person you are dealing with they do have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles so it's a very interesting combination first of all these are all your energies but I uh, that this is the energy of them not focusing necessarily on this partnership. Five of uh, Pentacles is the card of um, putting some distance between them and and the partnership or whatever you've built, whatever you've um, you know you've created together. Because that's the Three of Pentacles. Um, staying in the separation, maybe feeling rejected by this, maybe feeling uh, pushed away by whatever happened between the two of you um needing time needing space you know and but I'm, the energy i'm sensing is like i don't care about the money you know i it's this is not important it's like whatever we've built i can leave behind or maybe you ask them to leave behind whatever they've built and this is what shows up in the energy and taurus mutual energies between the two of you the hierophant in reverse this is the energy of divorce separation and the empress in reverse nothing else to give this is I am done I don't I don't know what to do uh, that is nothing else that I can give that is nothing else that I have um, it's an energy of emptiness you know and it is because of this separation that happened between the two of you strong indication of divorce happened on the on a brink of um, kind of disaster and it, uh, it I believe we have to be patient this is the energy I'm picking up and nothing to be ashamed of, um, Taurus. I don't know who's ashamed, but that is absolutely nothing. It's part of life. It is part of growing up. And no matter what, there is a solution, no matter what, you know. As as soon as we finish mourning and the pain, um, you know, we can see the open door. That's exactly how I feel. Um, and stagnation can happen while in pain, but then... But then we expand our mind and we get creative, you know. And sometimes a connection is just over and that's all right, you know. And I feel that this is, um, and I know you want happiness, I know, but I want this person with the three of cups, right? We have a family, right? We have kids, that's a ten of pentacles, I know. I know, but when something is over and and I say that three of pentacles five of pentacles like I'm, I'm pushing away this I don't want this you know 
somebody here is getting um you know um, i feel that they worked on their healing with the knight of cups you know i'm not seeing other people they you know them being in love with somebody else can be and if if that is but I'm, honestly i don't think i don't feel it's just saying you know what i'm gonna put some distance for now now let's ask for some guidance to others. Let's see what the universe wants us to know. And I'm using my romance angel. So let's see what messages we get today. What guidance we get. So we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they are the one. That is a bond. Okay. Now what? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Kind of a couple of statements so far. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So maybe it might be a reconciliation somewhere in children. Your love life is being affected by children. You do have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I, you tell me what this is. Because we have soon, rom very soon romantic feelings. This could be the one. And somehow children are involved in this. I'm, I'm sure you already have children with this person. Children are all, are all over the place in this um, reading with the pages and the um, Ten of Cups. Um, I don't know, express your love very soon, Taurus. Maybe you forgot to say I love you to this person. And the universe is kind of saying, have you expressed your feelings? Are you sure? Everything was said and done. I don't know, what do you say? We try this. But of course, don't put yourself in danger. It's interesting. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. And guess what? Romantic feelings after we got to express your love, we have passion. We have free yourself, but we have passion twice. Surrender to passion and then passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Maybe you forgot to be passionate in the universe is saying, come on, open up, express your love, you know, take it easy. Um, you know, leave your feelings or feel your feelings. I don't know, what do you say? And I feel so bad to tell, to kind of encourage you if we, when we look at this person, you know, but then the universe is giving you advice, you know, just uh, leave your passion. And express your love and be romantic because they might be the one they are the one actually right so um Taros, i know you're gonna write to me an email long saying it was confusing i know i know the reading was one and the advice was be passionate because they are the one um Taros, this is all that i have for you guys um please let me know what you think of course go wash your hands more often um don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.